Hello everybody, I'm Mr. Jutes. I'm on to Abanet. Um, today we are back again. So what we're trying to teach today is how to create a thematic map. On mapping for professional, this is the tool that I want to use to teach this. Then let me just go to to the very material I want to um, the file I want to use to create my thematic map. This is uh, a file containing site names, the uh, coordinates and the downlink PRB utilizations. So what I'm going to do with this is to show how I can plot these sites and create a legend describing um, the range of the PRB utilization. In other words, I want to show on my map sites that we have a range of maybe 0 to 10 PRB utilization, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, and so on and so forth. That will help me to I'll color them. And it will help me to identify um, sites with high utilization, sites with low utilization, and so on and so forth. And um, by far, I like this scale is very very important because i mean there are a lot of things as an rf engineer you would want to plot and uh, display on the map use color coloring to show your uh, differences in other words let us assume you want to show sites on your map to understand sites that have high traffic those that have medium traffic or those who have low traffic and so on and so forth so many things you can use do thematic on your map on your map before professional and it will guide what you your decisions and guide how to identify issues so this is prb utilizations and uh, let me just give some sites uh, let's say this site has 55 Let's give some sites a very high value so I can have sites within that range. Okay. This is a 65. All right. Okay, so first thing you're gonna do is to import that uh, Excel sheet. This is very PRB I've made into PR into mapping for professionals. You have to open it. So you go to here. You know where you saved your file. This is this file I want to open. Put this file. So let's use. Um, okay. So I have the table on my in my map for professional. You can have different versions of my for professional, but the procedure is the same thing. So if you learn this, you can always manipulate whichever version you have. Okay. So first thing I'm going to plot this to be on the map. So come to this place. Um, create points. Okay. Let me use a uh, symbol. Choose my before process, uh, Miss Alenos. You can see your three sided symbol, okay? So we're gonna use this guy. The X coordinates is from LATS. I mean, the X for long and Y must be aligned to LATS, okay? If you have it on your table, it will automatically pick it. And if you didn't pick it, don't forget to align your longitude for X coordinates and your latitude for Y, okay? And projection for Nigeria, uh, WGS 84. Okay, that's it. 
So if you want to show this, uh, I close the table, if you want to show the map you've plotted to file, recent file, and you have it. All right, uh, I can as well show the names of these sites. Remember the sites that we wanted to plot from this table. His names, so I'm saying. Uh, when you plot your map, you have the map files inside the same folder from where you opened the file. Okay. So next thing is I want to create this thematic. I'll go to uh, map and you come here to create thematic map. Okay. You can leave it on point rate default, it's fine. Next, um, if you don't want to, if you want the your plot to ignore values of zeros or values of, that are blanks or cells that are blanks in your Excel sheet, then you will ask it to ignore. But if you don't want it to ignore it, you can leave it. It means you have your range from zero. I don't need it. There's none of my this um, there's none of my file that is zero or blank. So you can as well allow it. You can as well ask it to no, no problem. So I'm picking the field for my thematic map from DL visualization. Of course, this is Oh, sorry. This is the very feed from where this reads from where I want to make my range. So you must make sure it is aligned. Next. Okay. This is from where we have the ranges. It has given you um, the ranges it wants you to use automatically, but we don't want to use that range. So we can make it custom, all right? Just come here and choose custom. So I want it to give me from zero. So it's PRB utilization of 10, all right? Okay. And then from 10 to 30, all right? And from 30 to 50, okay? You can decide whatever range you want to use. 50 so let's say 80 or 100 i don't have any value up to 80. If you have values you know you can check which values you have to know the range that is best to you okay for this uh, rate we are talking about zero to 100 percent so i can as well say 50 to 100 okay let me recalculate as we show you there are 20 values there are 10, there are 10 of it, 10 values that are between 0 to 20, 10 PRB utilization. There are um, 34 sites within this range, three within this range, three within this range, okay. So next thing I'm gonna give them coloring, all right? Yeah, I want to make it to have a, a particular color right so that it will depict that range that range should be right okay right 50 to 100 is over utilization so i'll give it right and this guy i'm going to give this guy yellow yellow okay i'm going to give this guy Um, okay, green. This guy changed it to 24 hours, same value. So, I'm going to give this guy uh, maybe this color. Okay. <laughs> All right. See, 
So my plot is going to change based on the values. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay. I want my sites to show me quickly. If I look at my map, I can easily say a particular site has a PRB utilization between these values, and that is high utilization. Okay. Therefore, if it is traffic, you know, between zero to ten is fine for me. So I can. So all this is going to change to the column, right? Changes all the things you have on the map. So this guy is highly utilized, followed by this guy, followed by this guy. This is the least utilized. I want to show my legend, okay? So just plot it here. I have my legend to show me what these guys are representing. All right, this is just for PR visualization. You can do the same for so many things. Guys, um, you have to register here to join my Zoom free training. You can easily chat me on my number. This is my WhatsApp number. Uh, connect me on all my social media. You can as well visit our website. Okay? If you want this uh, map info professional, to practice if you want the file you can chat me up so i can send to you and uh, very soon i'm going to be doing in depth training on map info professional all right guys thank you bye